Welcome back everybody. Moving on to another word problem. So Pierre has a border of grass of uniform width surrounding a rectangular garden. So from there, let's just draw a diagram. So we have a rectangular garden and then we have grass surrounding the rectangular garden of uniform width. So this portion right here all around is the grass surrounding the garden. And uh, we're told the outside dimensions of the border are 40 meters by 30 meters. So the outside dimensions, that's this here. Now, as I mentioned, actually, let me put this 30 meters here. As I mentioned in the lecture videos, with these types of questions, you got to be careful if they're giving you the outside dimensions or if they're giving you the inside dimensions. In this case, they're giving you the outside ones, but sometimes, as I showed you in the lecture videos, they could give you the inside dimensions. So sometimes this is maybe like a pool and then there's like a deck surrounding the pool and they'll give you the dimensions of the pool versus the total dimensions of the deck and the pool, right? But in this case, they are giving us the outside dimensions. And the rectangular garden, this here, takes up 75% of the total area of the grass and the garden. So this here is 75% of the total area. It doesn't look like it in the diagram. It's not the scale, but uh, it's 75%. So they're asking, what is the width of the grass border? So they're asking, what's this width here? So how about we just label that as X? And because it's a uniform width all around, we know this is going to be x, this is going to be x, and then this is going to be x as well. Right? So <clears throat> notice if this is 40, this is 30, this is x all around, we can create expressions for the length of the actual garden and the width of the garden. So if this whole thing here is 40, then what's this going to be? Well, it's going to be 40 minus x <clears throat> minus x. So it's going to be 40 minus 2x. That's going to be the expression for the length of the garden. What about the width of the garden? Well, this total width here is 30. Then we're going to subtract x, subtract x. So this is going to be 30 minus 2x, like that, right? So now we have expressions for the length of the, um, the length of the rectangular garden and the width of the rectangular garden. And we also know that the rectangular garden has an area of 75% of the total area. So the total area is what? It's 40 by 30, which is 1,200 meters squared. So the garden area, this right here, is going to be what? 75% of 1,200, which is 900 meters squared. Right? So this here all has an area of 900 meters squared. And we know that the length is 40 minus 2x, the width is 30 minus 2x, so basically length times width has to equal 900. And then we can solve for that x value, that width right there. Right? So these types of questions I'd recommend doing as many as possible because there could be multiple scenarios. Sometimes they give you maybe the area of um, the border, right, surrounding this rectangle here. So you'd have to take the total area and then subtract this and then make it equal to whatever they say that area is. There can be multiple scenarios they give you. So these types of uniform questions, make sure you're getting as much practice as possible. So at this point, we just take 40 minus 2x, the length of the rectangular garden times 30 minus 2x, and just make it equal to 900, and now we can solve for x. So we can FOIL this out. So 40 times 30 is 1,200. 40 times negative 2x is negative 80x. Negative 2x times 30 
is uh, negative 60x, and then negative 2x times negative 2x is positive 4x squared, and this is 900. Let's bring this over, so we'll have 4x squared minus 80x minus 60x, that gives us what, minus 140x, then bring the 900 over, 1200 minus 900 gives us 300, and that is going to equal 0. And then from here, you can solve this. Uh, you can try to factor it. Let's, uh, we could notice how we could take out a 4. So we'll have x squared minus uh, 35x plus uh, 75. That's going to equal 0. But over here, I don't think there are two numbers that multiply to 75 and then add up to negative 35. So I don't think this is going to factor smoothly. So at this point, I would just throw it into the quadratic formula. So we know um, x is going to equal what? Negative b, so negative negative 35, which is positive 35, plus or minus b squared, so 35 squared minus 4 times the a value, which is 1 here, times the c value, which is positive 75. And this is going to be all over 2 times the a value of 1. Now, another thing I want to mention is you could have just took this quadratic here and put it in the quadratic formula. You're going to get the same solutions, but I factored out a 4 first. And now I'm just taking this quadratic and solving for it, right? But if you input it an a value of 4, <clears throat> a b value of negative 140, a c value of 300, you'd get the same solutions that we're going to get. So when you solve this, you end up getting two x values, 2.29 and 32.71. However, they're both positive, so they both may work, but you do have to test them. And you have to test them with these expressions you made for the length and the width. So you have to plug both of them in and see if any of these values are going to be negative. So if we plug in 2.29 for x, 40 minus 2 times 2.29, that's positive. 30 minus 2 times 2.29 is positive as well. What about this 32.71? Well, if we plug that in here or here, we're going to get a negative length, a negative width. So we know that that solution is not going to make sense for this word problem. So we would just ignore that solution right there. So that is the answer right there, 2.29 meters. That is the uh, width of the grass border around, the uniform width that goes around the garden.